Hello and welcome to The Sound Live! My name is Matthew. So everybody, welcome to the show, Kyle Walls. Kyle is a singer-songwriter and really cool guy who's got a brand new album that he is starting work on. Kyle, won't you tell us really briefly, give us a little teaser. Oh yeah, so the audio for this new album and uh, it's going to be called Mask. Uh, it has uh, some interesting experiments on it and I'm about halfway done, as in done, done, mastered done with the audio. So that's a, a nice thing. So I'm aiming for October 1 being done so I can start with uh, other stuff. Right on. Oh. Jennifer Valiquette. Hello, Hi. Jennifer. <laughs> uh, Jennifer is a flute player and a saxophone player. She teaches music lessons. Let's go ahead and move to Eve's pick. Okay, Eve, why don't you introduce us whenever you are ready? Rory Gallagher is uh, this Irish bluesman that I um, first heard uh, years back now, I think 2011 or 2012. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I was never a big fan of Clapton. In fact, I think he's a bit overrated. Um, <laughs> I okay. like Cream. I like Cream and Blind Faith and all that and Derek and the Dominoes. But, yeah, um, I, I just found that Rory's music captivated me in some way that um, uh, that Clapton's didn't. It was just like, it went kind of beyond the blues, but it, it stayed firmly in that blues core um, mm -hmm. and that soul. I, I, I don't know. I mean, he had a lot of influences he threw into his music over the years, from Zydeco to Appalachian folk to jazz to everything in between. I'm looking forward to it. You know, I'm a big blues guy. Um, I love the blues. I was raised on the blues. If it was not for the blues, I would not be me. And um, I just I just put out a brand new blues song. At any rate, uh, I love the blues. That particular song is an eight-bar blues. And, um, you know, like, one of the things that's so cool about the blues is that, like, you know, even to a musician, a lot of people think the blues is just straight twelve bar blues, right? But there's so many, so much more you can do with it, right? Eight bar, twelve bar, sixteen bar, twenty four bar, thirty two bar. Like, there's just so many ways yeah. that you can take that core principle of one four five of the blues and yet construct it into so many awesome ways. Um, and like, you know, like sometimes. You have like groups like just for example the Blues Brothers that they're not even playing blues they're just playing songs that are just all one four and five right worshiping right, yeah. Gad <laughs> exactly <laughs> right four five uh -huh. one that's Gad in the key of D G A D yeah. right yeah <laughs> yeah so it's uh no I was gonna say it uh you can do you can do variations on that all day but mm -hmm. I guess it's what you do with it because there's I, I think there's only really a few bands that can really, you know, just pull that, or a few artists, I should say, that can kind of pull that uh, progression off over and over again and make it interesting. Well, and I mean, the blues is a set of changes, it's a lyrical form, and it's also an attitude. It's also a feeling, an emotion. Like, it's all these different things, you know? And like, that's why there's so much you can do with it. And like, for example, to a European, the blues doesn't mean the same thing that it does to an American. It just doesn't. Like um, when I was doing the Arion video, we were talking about that, Eve, right? Where there was that one part where, you know, Arion was saying, hey, there's this bluesy part. And we were thinking, oh, yeah. no, it's more like clean, funky part to us. It's just defined yeah. a little bit differently. So anyway, I'm really excited to do this. I don't... I. I, I probably heard Rory in passing, but I don't remember. Was was he the guitarist for any big groups or anything? Maybe. Um. He 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 actually. Um. So. Uh. After Cream dissolved, uh, there was this band formed called Taste with him and a bass player and a drummer, and they were like, they they got they filled that gap in between Cream and Led Zeppelin. Uh, taste is great. 
as far as I'm concerned, um, as far like blues rock trios from the late sixties. Um, uh, and then he kind of went off on his own and did his own thing. And yeah, he's got, he's got such an extensive discography. I think he's got like 25 albums, <laughs> studio albums or something like that. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Anybody want to say anything else before we mash that play button? Yeah, let's Ready do it. Go. All right. And so, Without further ado, Musicians Panel reacts to Rory Gallagher, Bad Penny, live at Montreux. Here we go!
Um, I just thought you should know the stream is down. The stream is down. Uh huh. Yeah, sorry. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt you. Well. <laughs> oh. So we can say what we want now. <laughs> yeah, um, I just. Uh. <laughs> well, yeah, people are people are still chatting. Well, it's actually back up now. I think. Um, it's back up now. I think it was because of the song. It was probably because of the song. Of course, it was because of the song. <laughs> it's we're yeah. we're back. <laughs> okay, okay. I think, I think we are. Turn yeah. off your monitor now, please. Oh, sorry. That was. Uh, <laughs> All right. We're back. We're back. We're good. <laughs> we're good. Thank you. Okay. Well, we still got we we got twenty two people here with us. Uh, yeah, that that was crazy. Oh, um. You mentioned uh, Stevie Ray. Uh, yeah, I, I totally got those vibes, the way he started. And, um, you, you know, and, and finding that tone. I mean, that that's uh, – I, I played a gig uh, a couple weeks ago, and uh, it was outside, and my amp I, – I, I had it up all the way, and it was just getting lost in the in the woods. I mean, we're at an outdoor winery. Lost so, uh, yeah, in the, the woods. Lost oh, in man. The and. Woods. You're that in that situation. <laughs> you're, you're you're trying to you know be somewhere where you can. You're you're still trying to perform, uh, but you're not trying to get annoyed and and get out of the headspace of you know performing and stuff. Um, the bass player and the drum drummer. I, I guess he found those guys like they were losers at a Joe Piscopo lookalike contest. I mean, it was 1985. <laughs> the, the bass player. I was digging how he's playing because I. You rarely see bass players have that little metal guard, yeah. so they can pick because most people use their fingers, it seems anymore. Yeah, and so that was interesting to see because his bass tone was so upper mid range. I mean, it cut through, but that is such an unpopular bass tone, you know. And um, yes. and, and that was just really fascinating to me, you know, because that just really stood out and maybe that was why he's using an octopedal too uh rory you know to make up for some of the low end that wasn't there with the bass maybe you know because i mean some of his guitar work seemed a little lower than the bass because i mean that was that was a different concept for bass i mean it's, it's playing metallico up there by the bridge that was interesting mm, well so. he huh. the bass player played a lot of um you know when the guitar was going da da yeah da -da. Da, 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 da. Right, so there'd be one longer note and then a short note and then a bunch of space, and then the guitar right. and the drums filled in all the space. Um, but then the bass solo was really nice too. I don't want to forget that yeah. uh, he oh, did yeah. a really, really nice solo. It was groovy and funky. I was like, jam I was jamming to that. It was great. <laughs> Go on, Jen. What do you think of this? No, I thought it was cool. It was, uh, I mean, they jammed for a really long time, which I thought was awesome. Um, I love the so the different solos and stuff. The different um, the different key key change. Well, I think there was key changes, right? Yeah, it sounded like it. Between the uh, verse and the chorus, yeah. Yeah, I thought so. And like, like just the fact that they could just, you know, do that very easily, of course. Um, but yeah, like uh, I, I loved it overall. I, I thought it was great. So <laughs> very nice. Yeah. So cool. Anything else you want to say, Eve, before we get moving on to Bandmade? Uh. Yeah, I was going to say that, uh, yeah, I would recommend checking checking him out more. I mean, this is obviously just one side of him. I liked it. He's a very multifaceted musician. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's very ta very talented. Right on. Cool. Do me a big favor. Like this video, share it out, and subscribe. Evelyn Holland. Evelyn is awesome singer, songwriter, and leader of the band Keys of Solomon. You can find her music at keysofsolomon.bandcamp.com. Progressive, progressive black metal. Yeah. Please, <laughs> please go listen to it. <laughs> yeah, new stuff is in the works. And also, Kyle Walls, singer, songwriter, uh, artist. You can find him on all the streaming platforms like Spotify, etc. But download his music from kylewalls.com. That's right. Brand new stuff in the works. So, Kyle, you got a bunch yeah. of text all over your face right now, Kyle. You need to go take, oh, a, from... take a shower. <laughs> you need to take I a will, shower I'll, and I'll wash all that. that text off your face, man. <laughs> no, it's my fault. I didn't I didn't move the box over. And I yeah. really should because it would look better <laughs> if I did. Yeah, and this, this mouse isn't plugged in, remember? Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, 
patreon.com slash Matthew's Music Lesson Studio where you can get a bonus video from me every single week. Sometimes it's a cover or a, cover or a collaboration you won't see anywhere else. Sometimes it's a React video that you get to have a month or more in advance. Sometimes it's going to be a special lesson that you can only get on Patreon or bonus content from my podcast, Flowering Creativity. So make sure you go there and check out, learn more about Evelyn Holland right now at patreon.com slash Matthew's Music Lesson Studio. The nonprofit to support the channel and help us to meet our funding goals is liberapay.com slash Matthew's Music. Please support the channel weekly at liberapay and no, resting assured, you're not paying liberapay anything. They're nonprofit and they're not keeping a penny. Or you could simply send me a tip right now with a super chat on YouTube. I have enabled it. I made sure it's working. You can do it. Beat the live chat uh, line here. Send me a super chat right now. Also, you can buy me a coffee. You know I love my cold brew at buymeacoffee.com slash Matthews Music. I need a coffee for tomorrow morning. Send me five bucks and I'll go to the store and grab me my coffee for the morning. Uh, I love having my coffee in the fridge in the morning, right? Then I don't do nothing. It's nice and cold. <laughs> and Venmo at Matthews Music. You can send me a tip on Venmo. Chat's coming up now. Um, and one final thing, MatthewsMusicLessonStudio.com is where you get your music lessons. And you, know, you can be anywhere in the world. I do all tons of different kinds of instruments, including vocal, guitar, all forms of saxophone, clarinet, ukulele, bass guitar, all that stuff at MatthewsMusicLessonStudio.com and record the lessons to keep them forever on your device. And so we'll see you all next time on The Sound Live.